did again. Okay, so at least you guys could hear this portion. Okay, so uh, when you open up Access, okay, a page like this will uh, open up. And then you go into the blank database, okay, and you uh, get that highlighted. Then you're going to create, uh, click on Create. What students tend to forget to do is um, they tend to not remember what this is, where they saved it, and then. Uh, Sometimes uh, access is not that obvious in uh, pointing that out, so try to remember this, especially if you're going to uh, save it into your uh, USB or whatever. Click on this, okay? Uh, in most cases, it will save it into the uh, documents, okay? Then I'm going to say create. So we're going to go to this page, okay? Uh, m most of the people who's done access or Word before, they would start creating the table and access in, in, the, in the design uh, view. But in 2010, you can do it this way so, uh, and create it in, in, in the table, the, the data sheet view. So we will try to do that, OK? But before we go on any further, let's, let's go over a few basics here. The main uh, object in a uh, access is to uh, use the table here, OK? The table is kind of like the. Uh, the, the data sheet in Excel, but it can do a few more things. Okay, so the, uh, some terminology that you need to think about. One row of information, that's every, all the information that is about you is called a record, okay? And one column of information or one particular type of information is called a field. Now let's think about like a, a, um, a DMV database, okay? A DMV database. That would be more like a um, uh, something that you, know, you, you guys could relate to. But the one thing that you don't want is anybody else's tickets, right? So your record needs to be what? Unique from everybody else's record. And in order to do that, you need to have a unique field. That is called a key field, okay? And uh, it's going to be kind of stupid, but that actually shows a key, a key on there and the uh, design view. But, but the point is you need a, key, a, a unique field that's called a key field. But uh, a DMV database is, is, again, unique in its own way because why? You, you have what? Two unique fields in a, a database, right? What are they? They're the what? They're the driver's license and also your social security card number. But at the minimum, um, when you're creating a database or, or, uh, or a table, you need to have a unique field, okay, which is called a key field. All right, so. Let's get into this a little bit here. Okay, so they want you to do. Uh, I'm I'm going down the pages. I'm going on page uh, 224. You you do not have to follow me. You can listen to this later or do this on your own later. Okay, and, and so I am. The first thing they want you to do is to click on the save button here, in order to name the table. Okay, so I'm going to click on the save button. Then the save as uh, the table name thing shows up. And the very first one, they want you to call it the sales managers. OK, then I'm going to say OK. So did you see right here, the, the table name changed to sales managers, OK? So uh, then the next thing they want you to do is to uh, click on the click to add button here. Okay. Once once you're here, they they say to make it a text field. Okay. So okay, another basic here in Excel, you basic uh, you had only two types of fields, right? It was either a, a label, which was a number or a number uh, a number mixed with a with an alphabet, which was called the alpha numeric, like a driver's license, or it was a uh, it, it was data like a, a, a value which was like a number. But look here, in Excel, excuse me, in Access, you got all these different types of uh, fields that it can become, OK? But we're going to click on text, OK? So when you click on text, the, the field name is, is highlighted. So it's, it, that's kind of like the rename function. And what do they want you to make that? Make that the manager last name, OK? So I'm going to make that the manage, manager last name. Okay, and then they say what? Tab to the next one. 
So I'm here now. I'm going to make that text. And then this is going to be manager first name. Okay? And then what do they want you to do? Manager last name, manager first name, then region. Okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to say text again. Make it a text field. And I'm going to say region. Okay? So we always up to making it a region. Okay? Then it says save your changes. So I'm going to say save. Okay, so it is saved. So this is the start of the sales manager's table. Okay? This is the sales manager's table. Okay, so this is the one way to create a table. This is, uh, they, they say for people who have never used Access before, this might be easier for you. But the people who, who, who used this before, there's another way, and, and that way is uh, you go into the, uh, you go into the, uh, Design view. Okay, so I got sales managers uh, finished here. I could leave this open or I could close it. Okay, but uh, they're they're saying to leave it open, so I'm going to leave this open. And then I'm going to go in here and say create. So if anytime you want to make something new, remember the create button here. So I'm going to say create, and then say table. Then I created a new table here. So right now I haven't given it a name yet, so it still says table one. Okay. And table one right here. All right. So now, what do they want you to do? Okay. Again, they uh, they want you to hit the save button. So they hit the save button, and we're going to give it the name uh, a name for this table. And this table, uh, what is the name supposed to be? Sales reps. So I'm going to type in sales reps. Whoops. Typing. Okay. I'm going to say okay. Okay, so this is a sales rep table. Okay, now, once I get to this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the design view. So in order to change the views, it's right here on the top left. See the ones with the protractor? I think that's what it's still called these days. Click on the view button, and then click on design view. So I'm in the protract. Uh, this is the design view. So what I'm basically doing is I'm going to put in the field names and pick the data types this way. So you basically in the, uh, later, when you have to create these things, you pick the one which makes more sense or uh, or is easier to you. Okay, I'm not going to say you have to use a particular type. Okay, so the first one they want you to do is to change the ID to rep ID. So I'm going to change this to rep ID. And then it also says uh, they want you to change the rep ID from auto number to text. So I've done that. Okay, so a, a little word about auto number. When you have auto number in it and you're typing in the information on the data sheet view where you type in all the names and everything, it'll give that number in automatically so you don't have to worry about it. But it does cause some uh, confusion later, so be careful. If, if they want you to use auto number, you have to try it. But if it messes up on you, what I recommend, technique only, is to come out of auto number and then uh, Put in number and put it in manually yourself. Okay, and that might be uh, easier for you. Okay, so I got rep ID in here, and then uh, you could actually put a description in uh, on what it is. Okay, this does, this has absolutely no effect on anything you do. Okay, uh, but it's just an information to you. So what does it say to put a unique number assigned to a rep? Okay, then I'm going to go down. Okay, then it's what's next? A rep last name. That's text is good. Rep first name. Rep first name. Manager ID, that's text, and then sales goal, sales goal. And this is supposed to be what? Currency, right? So I'm going to say currency. Okay, sales goal, then uh, gold star club. And gold star club is what? Yes or no? 
So I'm going to click here and say yes or no. This is uh, what you studied earlier. It's a Boolean thing. It's either off or on. Okay, that, that's how I want you to look at it. Okay, so uh, yes, if rep bet sales go in prior year. So I'm going to say here. It's just a note. Yes, if rep bet sales go in prior year. Okay. Now I want you to notice something. I had a misspelling here. It's not really a misspelling, but this has a lowercase instead of an uppercase, right? Now later you're going to be comparing things and, and putting, started putting th things, uh, say is this is equal to this or whatever. When that happens, case does not remember this. Case does not matter. Misspelling matters, and the data type matters. Keep that in mind. That's very important. Okay. So case is okay, but uh, misspellings or different spellings and the data, uh, different data types will, will cause a problem. So keep that in mind. If something's wrong here and it doesn't join or whatever later, go back and check the data type. Make sure they're both the same. Okay? All right. So now it says modify a table. I'm on page 228. Modify a table. So we're going to, they want us to change a few things here. So let's see. It says, it says click the sales manager table tab. So I'm going to go back to the sales manager table tab. Okay, and then uh, it says uh, view list arrow design view. Okay, so I'm going to go to the design view. I'm on the sales manager tab. I'm going to go back to home, go to the design view, and then uh, so I'm in the design view here. And then it says uh, type manager ID. So instead of ID, it's going to become manager ID. Okay, and then it says auto number, and uh, we're going to change that to text. So they don't trust it either. Okay, so manager ID, last name, first name, and region. Okay, so you can change these things. Okay, and then it says double click. Uh, uh, 255 of the field size box in the, in the field properties pane, then type fine. Okay, it's, it's down here. So what it's saying is every, fee, uh, every field is given a field size of 255. Now with all the hard drive space we have these days, it's good, but it's all, always better to uh, minimize it uh, so, or to make it the size so you can't put in too big of a number by error. Okay? You want to make these things easy for people to uh, uh, mo modify things. Uh, or try not for them not to make mistakes. So I'm going to say five. Okay. So what this does is when I'm in the data sheet view, if I try to type in uh, uh, an ID number of like six f figures, it won't let you do it. Okay. And I could also format it. And there's a few other things I could do. So like for state, you know, I'm, uh, I'm not going to go that far today, but for state, how many spaces do you really need? Two, right? So you could change the field size for state to two. The zip code would be like five, or however else uh, you, you know you want to make it. So you can modify it to uh, try to cut down on the mistakes. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to put in any more caption names, but it says like date hired. They want you to put in the date hired. Okay. So what it is is you you want to put in something in between here and here. So I'm going to click here. Then what? It's, uh, when you forget everything else, think think Word, okay? Word or Excel, what, whatever you learned before. Right click, and then say Insert Row. See, you got your new row here. And then what are you supposed to put in there? The date hired. So I'm going to type in date hired. And then uh, this is going to be date, okay? The date hired. Okay, manager last name. I don't know how to put in the captions, view buttons. Okay. All right, so that's basically how you get, you get uh, due to get this thing started, okay? So uh, uh, I'll let you put in the, the data, uh, data later. And as you go on, let's see, anything else then? Okay. One other thing that I'll go over really quickly is... Uh, I'm going to go back to the data sheet view. If it'll, okay. So every time you move along, 
If it asks you to say, you'll say yes. Okay. So now, I want to create. Uh, it asks you to create a form. The nice thing about the data sheet view is you can see everybody's information all at once. The nice thing about a form is you just see one record record at a time. Okay. So if you want to create a form, where do we go? We go to create, and then click on form. Okay. So. Does it say which kind of form they want you to use here? Uh, okay. I, I, again, uh, I'm making one mistake here. Uh, the form is for the first one is for uh, sales reps table. So I need to change 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 the sales rep table. Go to go to the data sheet view. Okay. Then I'm going to click on create and go to form. And it's automatic. It, it, it does it real quick for you. You could go into the design and change it uh, later, but the form is created just like this. Okay. And then as you put information in, it'll keep a a a adding stuff for you. And you, and you can click on this kind of like a, uh, a record and go from the first one to the last one uh, as you put more information in. Okay. And that's it for the very first one. Quick and dirty, but uh, okay. So. Uh, Kind of get started and uh, get this done. Uh, you really, uh, especially if you don't have access at all, get it done. It shouldn't take you more than a, another half hour. And uh, uh, we'll move on. Anybody have any questions? You want the book? I know. You got it. You have a separate question? What, go ahead. Okay, I, I'll, I'll get with you on that later. Okay, so let me turn this off and uh, I'll start helping you guys. Okay, and I uh, 